Hey friends, welcome to another vlog. I am glad I'm here. I make fashion and lifestyle content here. I put content every week. If you like the sound of that, please don't forget to subscribe. So on this day, guys, I was honestly so low. I just knew that I needed to go for a walk just to pack my mood up, just change of scenery and a little bit of fresh air. And it always does the trick because it just really enlightens my mood and I'm ready to start my day hey guys how you guys doing welcome and welcome back anyway i'm all dressed i'm like all white because at the moment in the uk it's really cold when i mean it's really cold you wake up in the morning it's like minus three it's just like honestly so cool. some less oh some delivering guys anyway so i was just like yesterday i went out like i went for a really long walk with my a neighbor of mine just to cash up for this new year like how christmas was and everything at the end of the day my goodness my ear you know when the sorry i've got tom tom if you're in nigeria you know i've got tom tom in my mouth i just came back from nigeria as most of you must have known so literally the cold <laughs> went inside my ear it was so painful i didn't really wrap up so much like today if i tell you the amount of things i'm wearing <laughs> you'll feel so sorry for me so guys come thrift with me let's go to the charity shop and see what we could find because this year guys we need to spend our money wisely anyway this is where i am all bundled up to go to so let's go together and see what we can find in the charity shop yeah this is january this is when literally some people everything they've gotten for christmas it goes back to the charity shop so sometimes when you want to look for a baguette this is the time to guys i made it here so i'm just walking down and see what uh, we can find yeah <laughs> hopefully i find something really interesting so my eyes are obviously watering First um, shop I'm coming is this one, Cancer Research, research. let's go, can find it. Hello, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is not bad. It's in here, but it's just a top shop. Oh. get anything from that first charity shop not what I really want because I don't want to add more junk into my stuff so I'm going to charity shop number two and see what they have so I'm coming to this um, to this one the princess one so let's see what they have <laughs> so good the charity shop is so disappointing so i thought i'm just going to come to the river side and just instead look at the door because i didn't really see anything that i like it just thank goodness i only packed for an hour so i'm just going to randomly check the other tools that are my least favorite charity shop in and start going home i think it's still too early to be charity shop hunting because I don't think a lot of people they start clearing out here. I think when it start when the weather start picking up during warmer season, like during like early spring, that's when people are going to start chucking a lot of their Christmas presents away. That sounds harsh, but honestly, that just um, it's just the truth. <laughs> that's where I think I am going to see some bad games. I can remember these duckies here. When my kids were little, I used to bring them, so we used to give like bread. This is the only place where by duck, 
they don't hunt for your bread because everybody just feeds them a lot of food here, like really good food, vegetable and everything. These duck in Kobo, they are so spoiled, they would never eat your bread. No, they would just be looking at you like, what are you doing? Because when you have like rich neighbor around, no, you don't eat things like that. Anyway, I thought I'm just going to come here. I really love this, um, just coming here to the river, looking, looking at it a little bit. And that reminds me, I really enjoy bringing my toddler with my kid, before my kids were in school. I really enjoy bringing them and they we used to be at that what am I showing? Yeah, this spot. And they like at the edge of the river like with their welly and everything. Kids do grow. If you have a toddler, my god, enjoy it because they grow too quickly. Anyway, I'm just going to casually be going home. It's not a defeat, but this is how you hunt for stuff. You Sometimes you don't see what you really, it's not like I really want anything, but sometimes you do get some really nice treasure. But later on, um, I'm taking my daughter to town, my local town, because she needed, she needs some pens and things like that. And um, yeah, I'll catch you, if I see anything in the other charity shop, I will show you guys when I get home. But I think I'm just going to keep my camera around. Oh my god, it's absolutely cool this morning. <laughs> I don't even know why. Look, can you feel the crunchiness? It's so cold, but it's gorgeous. Just see the sun rising. It's honestly such a beautiful day. It's going to be for hmm. so cold. Um, yesterday, I pulled this water out for the bed. Look, it's completely frozen. <laughs> Solid ice. Oh no, I need to take this one off and put another water. Hopefully, it helps them. They're so cute. The <laughs> Look at that. I love the cheese. I didn't know. That's why. Oh my god, look at the nice selection of cheesy. Gurnard. Oh. Nothing, nothing. I'm a Cornish Gurnard. Which one is that? This one? Oh, yeah, I think we caught something we like that.
You take a bottle. Um, yeah, you fill it up. It's really it's a good idea, isn't it? Oh wow, look at all this. Mm, so we decided to go to the flying ground. I have not been before. This is my first experience of coming to a place like this where they fly the model aeroplane and helicopter. Oh my god, my experience was like, this is a man's toy. The men, they love it. Like, everybody that was there, they were men. Even the men, they were saying to me that, Oh, you are the first female that they've seen here. <laughs> because I came with my husband, it was so funny. They were all like, oh my god, they're not used to having like a female among them. Because it's just a man's thing. It's just amazing to see men so passionate about flying, oh, wow. um, flying their aeroplane, helicopter and and it's just 10 minutes some of them they put a lot of work before they will set up before they will put fuel they will do the propeller it just took forever for something that would just they would just fly for like 10 minutes I, I couldn't even believe it i was just like are you for real guys this is just like kids playing in a in another level but this is just grown up oh, wow. like, but it was really nice at the end of the day i was screaming oh, wow. when some they were doing some tricks on the helicopter especially because the helicopter was was uh, flipping dipping as if it's going to crash on the floor but it takes a lot of skills to be able to fly a model like this it just takes a lot this is just amazing so um, my kids brought me because i think it, my husband actually brought me because um he used to fly as well and, and he's thinking that the kids might be interested in flying it and they are very excited to give it a go so i shall be drinking my cup of tea washing them